Guys, welcome back to Predatory Face. Redo. Sorry. Sorry. But today we're gonna feed the monster fish the right way. Which is the right way, Rod, you ask me, and I tell you. The right way is going to be from up here because this water is so crystal clear that I made myself a little bed. A little, you know, like a jail bed. It's kind of hard. Platform. Platform. Um, but all jokes apart, guys, the water literally is crystal clear. I can see markings on this tank that I did not even want to see before. Um, and all thanks to the big UV light that we installed because it's only been running for about three, four days now. And literally, I haven't even done a water change from when that water was super dirty. And if I have a picture of it, I'll post it now. But guys, UV lights are very important, not only for to make your water crystal clear, but also the scientific behind it. Like Lisa is very a good expert at this. She should be in front of the camera, but you know, she doesn't have makeup on right now. So I'll try my best. Um, as what I know about UV lights is this, the longer the lights, the water travels to the tube, to the light, the better chance of killing parasites and bacteria. So for example, that one over there is really long and the water travels from the bottom all the way to the top and it comes out from the top. So that traveling, depending on the amount of, of uh, current, the amount of gallons per hour that's going through there, that's what you need on uh, voltage or watts. Why, sorry, why don't sorry. You let somebody else All right, dude, just do it. Let me know when to come back. What's up, everybody? So, Rodrigo asked me to talk a little bit about UV sterilizers. All right, well, I'm gonna give you guys a brief overview um, about what a UV can do for your system and, uh, and what you need to watch out for when you want to install a UV. You know, you gotta understand some of the basic principles behind it. Well, first of all, not all UVs are created equal. That's the first thing that we have to understand. Most people will buy a UV just based on the wattage, right? And yes, the wattage indicates some level of strength to the UV, but ultimately, it's all in the lamp, okay? Different lamps put out different dosages of the UV radiation, and that's what kills the bacteria and parasites and, and pathogens in your water. But you can have, let's say, three different UV bulb manufacturers that have the same wattage, but each one will have different dosages. It's just like buying aspirin or you know at, at, at CVS or, or at a pharmacy. You can have the same size pill, but they have different dosages, right? They have five milligram, 10, 15 milligram, 25 Bro, milligram. You talk milligram. too much. So, but I'm learning, I'm learning. Go on, go on. I want to hear more. That's a very important thing. What are you laughing at? The Pay attention. This is important to save your fish. Out of that UV. Um, but I guess it also comes down to what you're trying to achieve with the UV, right? Um, if you're looking to just get rid of algae, then usually the simplest of UVs can take care of that. If you're looking to kill bacteria, if you're looking to kill viruses, parasites, and so forth, um, you would need much stronger dosages of UV to be able to kill those type of things, okay? Um, the easiest to kill is algae. Second easiest to kill is bacteria. Next is um, parasites, protozoans, single cell protozoans, which are smaller, and then there's ick and costia and other things. As the size of the parasites get bigger, you need a much stronger, stronger dosage. And of course, viruses, which are also very hard to kill. So in the end, it just comes down to what you're trying to get out of the UV. But I'm just gonna explain a little bit about, uh, a little bit more about UV, and uh, how you can make it work more for you, right? Number one thing that people have got to understand, well actually, I already talked about the number one thing, that is the dosage. The second important thing is um, the way the unit is designed, okay, and, and how fast the water is going through the unit, okay? That's very important. Ah, That's okay, time. okay, I understand so you now. you can imagine, um, you know, the light is putting out its dosage, but the water zips right through the unit, like really fast. 
you're not giving the light chance or not giving the light time to kill what it needs to kill. So the slower that the water passes through the UV, it gives it more exposure time so that the UV can do its job, right? Um, from there, it comes down to the housing, right? Um, if the housing is bigger, it takes longer for the water to pass through. If the housing is smaller, then of course the, the water will go through faster. So some people, what they do is they would tee off from their pump to the UV with a ball valve so that they can control the speed of the water going through the unit and then you will get a stronger dosage, right? But now, um, when you tee off, not all the water that's passing through, will, I mean, not all the water going through the pump will go through the UV, it's branched off. So it takes longer for the full volume of your tank to pass through the UV. All right guys, I'm back. Uh Enough with the UV light. It works. It's great. If you need it, what? What? What are you gonna say? You're making faces. And you're killing me. Why well, say thank you, William? William, thank you. I, I mean, I'm not a uh, big kisser on people. No. What? Say, what do I say? Don't say anything like that. A big like ball kisser, like. No. Give yes, I'll give credit to what's due. That is a very good product. So is the pumps. If you look at it, don't mind the mess because Lisa's always making a mess here. But if you look, you can even you can even tell it's on. Look, check this out, guys. Look. So just so you see that I'm not lying. No. Now listen to this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah oh, man. Hey, guess what I'm doing? Tell me. Turn off my switch. Let's go. On or off? Off. No, off. Alright, it was on. I turned it off. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, important announcements. While the food is defrosting, we're gonna talk about a couple of things. Remind me, because we always go through this and I forget stuff. Number one, wholesale. We're doing a lot of wholesale right now. Really cool stuff coming in. And after Colombia, it's probably gonna be January. Uh, we're probably gonna start bringing Brazil, Suriname, a bunch of other places that we haven't even looked at before. So stay tuned. If you are our store, or if you know a store that wants some wholesale lists, Email us your resale certificate, right? That's it. And we'll go ahead and send it to you. Um, and you can email us at wholesale at predatoryfence.com. Plain and simple. Um, anything else? Oh, next year, we got a lot of big plans going on here. A lot of big plans. There's a lot of reasons why we invested in this part of the store. I mean, because if you think about it, the shop is, is not that much, you know, not that expensive to build, a couple of tanks, but the display, that's where the money goes into, you know, like the, the, the filtration, the, the quality of the water, cheese, everything here on this side. So what we wanna do starting in 2020, we're gonna do a lot of, uh, should we tell them or should we not tell them? Activities, let's just put it this way, activities. And at the right time when this is completely done, everything's done, out advertise for it, okay? That's good. But definitely different activities that we're gonna have here. We're even thinking like something like um like a touch tank for kids. Don't say it. What? Why can't they touch an aeroplama? Well I'll answer. That'll be awesome. Alright, what else is happening for the end Nothing. of the year? End of the year. Yeah, what else are we gonna do? Think. What Girl, else are you gonna do? We have to go to Chris and Melissa's wedding. No, I for the for the YouTube. What's happening for you two? Oh, I forgot about that. We well, haven't even ordered the collar, so I guess you don't... It before the end of the year. It is? We didn't forget. Shock collar challenge is coming up. And what if it doesn't fit my neck? Then we'll put it on your wrist. Okay, that's better. I already go like... Ah! Then. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's so. Alright, how about you? You want to do it? 
Guys, what do you think? In the comments below, should Lisa also do the shot call at least for once? I think it'd be okay. I think you. If I get the answer wrong, we'll see. You're probably tougher than I am. Maybe. Let's get the food. I'm tired. They're hungry. All right. A couple of videos ago, maybe not even like oh, maybe not even a week ago, I had fish slice here and I turned the um, UV on and added the Dimlin X and I don't see it. But see, Kevin was saying that he doesn't think it removes the fish slice. I don't think it removes the fish slice. I think it removes the very small, like when it's just in the beginning stages of the lice, so get killed, zapped, gone. All right, get up there. You, get up there. No, you don't want to feed him? What? You don't want to feed him? You don't want to, you, you don't want to feed him? They, they want to see you. You don't have makeup on? Next time, guys. Yeah, I've been trying. I'll do the last one. You do what? The last one. Okay, well, this is the first time that I'm gonna use my feeding platform. So, we got three, oh my gosh. We got three different types of food here that are very important to know that these fish are aggressive. Oh.